a Dyson Spear. Future technology? Question mark. Type 2 civilization. Futurism. Or are we just repeating past mistakes? Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Evolution to transhumanism is evolution biblical. Does God exist? Well, I would say not yet. Ray Kurzweil. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Genesis chapter 3 verse 5 Ham, Shem, Japheth, Cush, Elam, Gomer Descendants of Noah, Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The firstborn son of the sons of Noah, number one. Japheth, his firstborn son, Gomer. Number two, Shem, his firstborn son, Elam. Number three, Ham, his firstborn son, Cush. Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. The sons of Japheth, Gomer. This is a reconstruction of an ancient man of France, he would be a descendant of Gomer, son of Japheth. Genesis 10, verse 22. The children of Shem, Elam. This is an image that was taken from a wall, from a city, an ancient Persia, ancient Elam. Genesis 10, verse 6. And the sons of Ham, Cush. This picture was found on the walls of ancient Egypt. Noah brought his sons and his grandsons, and he blessed them with their several settlements, and he gave them as an inheritance for the earth. He especially blessed Shem and his sons, making them dark but comely, and he gave them the habitable earth. He blessed Ham and his sons, making them dark like the raven, and he gave them as an inheritance the coast of the sea. He blessed Japheth and his sons, making them entirely white. This is an incorrect statement, and we should prove why this statement was made, and it has everything to do with the time that this book was published. But let's read on. He blessed 
Defet and his sons, making them entirely white. Then he gave them for an inheritance, the desert and its fields. These are the inheritances with which he endowed them. Kirk the Rabbi Eliezer. In the book notes, number three, the first editions add, so the writer is letting us know that there were some scribe changes. The first editions add, then beautiful. Jafet as a word signifies beauty. Yes and no, it actually signifies to enlarge. The sons of Jafet were the migratory tribes from the north, the Goths who settled in Europe, the Goths were recent immigrants into Europe. They were not the ancient Europeans or the people of Jafet. Jafet, Goths who settled in Europe, Perk the Rabbi Eliezer. Let's take an examination into the book itself and its history. Kirk the Rabbi Eliezer is an Agatic Mitzrash, which is a rabbinical commentary, work on the Torah containing exegesis and retelling of biblical stories. The composition has enjoyed widespread circulation and recognition ever since its composition. Traditionally, it is ascribed to the Tana Rabbi Eliezer ben Hycranus and his disciples. According to Jewish Encyclopedia, it was composed in Italy shortly after 830 AD. Scholars unanimously agree that Perk the Rabbi Eliezer is a work of the 8th or 9th century. And this is very important. The Goths were not in Jephet, and when the Perk the Rabbi Eliezer was published in the 8th or 9th century, Europe at the time was colonized by the Roman Empire. George Rowlandson, Professor George Rowlandson. Professor Rawlingson says that the Celts, who were the first people who arrived in Europe from Asia, the Celts arrived from Asia into Europe. Asia, their birthplace was Asia, pushed out the sons of Japheth, pushed out the ancient Europeans, and also that a people known as Sumeri, the Celts were known as Sumeri, or Gemeri, the Celts were also known as Gemeri, obtained to power in Western Asia and Eastern Europe between BC 800 and 600. The Celts' birthplace was Asia. They migrated into Europe and pushed out the sons of Japheth. The Celts pushed out of Europe the sons of Japheth. Gomer, the sons of Japheth in ancient France. Gomer. Gaul, the name the ancient Romans gave to the area we now know as France. Gaul was a region of Western Europe encompassing present-day France, Belgium, Luxembourg, most of Switzerland, parts of northern Italy, and Germany, west of the Rhine. Goma, Gaul, ancient France. 
Now, they were the grandchildren of Noah, in honor of whom names were imposed on the nations by those that first seized upon them. Japheth, the son of Noah, had seven sons. For Gomer founded those whom the Greeks now call Galatians, Gauls, but were then called Gomerites, Gauls, Gaul, France, Josephus, Antiquity of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 6. Roman Colonies The mid-2nd century after Trajan Emperor, each point or dot represents one colony in Europe. From the 1st century BC to the 5th century AD, Rome had colonies in France. Gallio Roman culture, Spanio Roman, Romano Germanic, Romano British, Romanization of Europe. The Romans colonized Europe from Celts and other groups. The Romans pushed out the Celts. According to Professor Rawlingson, the beginning of the Celt expansion started around 8th to 6th century BC. And earlier in the map we saw Rome started the colonization of these same areas from the 1st century BC into the 5th century AD. So the Celts pushed Japheth out and the Romans repeated the process and pushed the Celts into certain areas. The Celts pushed Japheth out of Europe, also known as the Western Hunter Gatherers, and also other indigenous groups of Europe. The Celts originated in the Middle East and migrated into Europe around 700 BC. A map of Europe which shows the area the European hunter-gatherers occupied. Western European hunter-gatherers, indigenous people of Gaul, ancient France. And this is a reconstruction of a Western European hunter-gatherer, an indigenous person of Gaul, an ancient friends, a son of Gomer, son of Japheth. Western hunter gatherer. This man's skeleton was found in Coast Valley, Perigroid, France. Mesolithic means he was not a farmer, he was a hunter and gatherer. He was about 40 to 50 years old at death. Gomer, Gomer, was the eldest son of Japheth. Traditional identifications. Josephus placed Gomer and the Gomerites in ancient France, the ancient Gaul. These were pre-Celtic people. Western hunter-gatherer, Western hunter-gatherer or Western European hunter-gatherers, a population of Mesolithic hunter-gatherers scattered over Western, Southern, and Central Europe. Children of Japhet, Children of Gomer, the physical appearance, Western hunter 
gatherers were typically dark-skinned, dark-haired, and blue-eyed. Their skin color ranged from olive to black, and archaeologists speculated that they may have had some regional variety of eye and hair colors. Western hunter-gatherer Western hunter-gatherer or Western European hunter-gatherer A population of Mesolithic hunter-gatherers scattered over Western, Southern, and Central Europe. The Children of Shem, the Lamb Immortals, Achaemenid Empire, Immortals, or Persian Immortals, was the name given by Herodotus to an elite heavy infantry unit of 10,000 soldiers in the army of the Achaemenid Empire. The unit served in a dual capacity, though its role as imperial guard alongside its contribution to the ranks of the Persian Empire's standing army. While it primarily consisted of Persians, the Immortals force also included Medes and Elamites. Son of Shem, Elam, who was the father of the Persians. Shem, the third son of Noah, had five sons who inhabited the land that began at Euphrates and reached to the Indian Ocean, for Elam left behind him the Elamites, the ancestors of the Persians. Josephus, Antiquities of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 6. Harry Johnston, Sir Henry Hamilton Johnston, born June 12, 1858, died July 31, 1927. Known as Harry Johnston, was a British explorer, botanist, artist, colonial administrator, and linguistic, who traveled widely in Africa. And spoke many African languages. He published 40 books on African subjects and was one of the key players in the scramble for Africa that occurred at the end of the 19th century. The Elamites, however, seemed rather to have belonged to the more Negroid stock of the West as their hair, as seen on the monuments, is short and woolly. The Elamites, says Sir Harry Johnson, appear to have been a Negroid people with kinky hair, and to have transmitted this racial type to the Jews and Syrians. Sex and Race, page 59. Elam and Persia, edited by Javier Alvarez Mon and Mark B. Garrison, page 61. Persepolis, Persia. Elamite as administrative language from Susa to Persepolis. The use of Elamite as an administrative language is first attested in the text from Tel E. Mao Yan, ancient Ansin, dated 1000 BC. Elam, Elamite was used as an administrative language of the Persian Empire. 
the firstborn son of Ham, Cush. Cush, Bible, Cush or Cush, according to the Hebrew Bible, was the oldest son of Ham and a grandson of Noah. Cush is traditionally considered the ancestor of the land of Cush, an ancient territory believed to have been located near the Red Sea. Cush is identified in the Bible with the kingdom of Cush, or ancient Sudan. The son of Ham, Cush. Kingdom of Cush. The kingdom of Cush was an ancient kingdom in Nubia, centered along the Nile Valley in what is now northern Sudan and southern Egypt. The children of Ham possessed the land from Syria and Amenus in the mountains of Lebanon, seizing upon all that was on its seacoast and as far as the ocean and keeping it as their own. Some indeed of its names are utterly vanished away, others of them being changed, and another sound giving them are hardly to be discovered. Yet a few there are which have kept their denominations entire. For of the four sons of Ham, time has not at all hurt the name of Cush. For the Ethiopians, over whom he reigned, or even at this day, both by themselves and by all men in Asia, called Cushites. Josephus, Antiquities of the Jews, Book 1, Chapter 6. The Pyramids of Mero, the capital city of Cush. Kingdom of Cush. 1070 BC to 550 AD, Kushite heartland and Kushite empire of the 25th dynasty of Egypt, 700 BC. Capital cities, Perma, Napata, Moro. Ancient Nubia, P.L. Shini. The origin of the term Nubia is not known for certain. It has been suggested that the name comes from the ancient Egyptian word MBW, meaning gold, since the area was an important source of gold in pharaonic times and later. But it is not the name the ancient Egyptians used for the country, and the suggestion may be fanciful. The Egyptian frequently called the area Tasseti land of the bow or Kush, probably a name used by the inhabitants themselves. <laughs>